All right, as you guys can see in the car this morning, it is the weekend. Unfortunately, I have a couple of appointments to go to, and I thought the best way to get there, Bluetooth connected and cut me off. Usually what would happen in the Mercedes, actually. I think it's the first time it's happened in the Lambo. But regardless, I was saying that I have an appointment this morning, a couple of them, actually. So we'll see how those go, and I thought, why not take the Lambo, uh, you know, if I'm doing something that clearly isn't that fun. No? Well, I'm sure the front desk would have it if we need one, right? Like free ones or something? I think uh, the first person that helped me, she had a mask on, but the second person that helped me for the second round of tests, like she, did, she didn't have a mask on. Uh -oh. So, you know, so I don't know, whatever. Check engine light actually disappeared on the way there, and I'll tell you guys how it went. Glad to finally be back home, and yeah, I'll update you guys on how it went uh, shortly. Definitely was interesting to say the least, especially after I got my blood drawn. We're out here riding passenger at this point, but yeah, it was a very interesting time. So, got my blood drawn for blood tests but they ended up drawing a lot more blood than i anticipated and i haven't done this in a while but basically they ended up drawing like five bottles of blood and i guess normally it's two and last time i went it was two um, but that was some time ago and yeah so by the time they were almost done with the fourth bottle i started feeling fairly lightheaded and everywhere i looked i could see clearly but it was a bit splotchy, so I, it, I was basically seeing black dots everywhere. And I was playing it cool, and I'm just like, all right, well, you know. And then once they completed the fourth bottle, she's like, okay, there's just a little more. And she switched to the fifth bottle. And at that point, I'm just like, okay, I, just, I, I guess I just have to get through this somehow. So I'm just sitting there playing it cool. Uh, they offer apple juice, have some water and you know so i take it because i'm fairly lightheaded and she she said she could tell that i'm lightheaded so i wasn't really expecting much and like i could see perfectly fine outside of the black splotches and i'm not trying to hold up the next person she's trying to help so i basically decide to get up maybe like 30 seconds or so after getting my blood drawn so i get up and we're walking out and as soon as i reach the door of the exit and maybe we're probably like i don't know like seven or eight steps in which i was walking perfectly fine i reached the door and it, it like my mind is working perfectly fine but my body is not reacting the way i want it to so i could feel my body like literally sway to the side and so i stopped walking because i'm like okay if i take another step and i'm like swaying i might actually like pass pass out even though like i wasn't really anticipating passing out i wasn't really even thinking too much about the test really it was kind of whatever and yeah uh, i almost fall into the lap of some dude huh? or if i took another step i probably would have um unless i really got my composure back uh, so when i swayed i swayed uh, towards my right and somebody was sitting there uh but i didn't bump into them or anything like that and long story short he was very kind uh he, I, I don't remember exactly what he said but he he basically grabbed my arm and walked me to my seat so i was like okay and i was like thank you i really appreciate it and stuff and he was a cool dude uh, for even doing that and yeah so that was that almost fell in somebody's lap didn't buy them dinner first and that probably would have been their initial reaction but this dude was uh, kind enough to help so shout out to him currently going for a spin actually and yeah i will be recording a video it will be on youtube shorts and tiktok so we'll see how the video goes it's going to be a pretty short drive actually so 
not much will actually happen, and I'd rather record for TikTok uh, rather than try to record a very short vlog. Here we are with the cars on a sunny day in California. It is pretty early though, and we are here to move all the cars out because supposedly the guys are coming to work on the garage and I need to move all of the cars out. So hopefully they actually come because otherwise I'm really wasting my morning and time uh, moving the cars for absolutely no reason, but you know, we'll see what happens. If they are showing up, I, was, I would assume they'll show up in the next hour maybe, more or less, uh, with materials or whatever they plan to do today. In the Mustang, for a second I thought it was dead because it has a little bit. Fortunately it's not. I do have, the car keeps beeping. That hasn't happened in a while. I'm not sure what the hell's going on. I think the exhaust would make the own alarm of the car go off. I don't know if anybody's ever witnessed that. But here we are. And fortunately, the car did turn on. Uh, but I did have the trickle charger or the jump starter, if you will, handy. Finally done with that. And yeah, it's been several minutes. I think it took maybe like 10 minutes or something. I try to move as quickly as possible. But obviously, since I'm doing it all by myself, it did take some time but yeah now on to the work day since it is the weekday and plenty for me to do but i hope that maybe i'll get to take out the lamborghini today and we'll see i might do more uh, frequently asked questions for tiktok and youtube shorts It is extremely early right now. You guys could hear the birds chirping, and you can see the frost on the roof ready to move all of the cars. Number one step, as you guys know, of moving the cars with the Lambo. Well, that's always good news. And you barely recognize it. That's the thing. But as you guys can see, they pretty much have been working on the outside. So dramatic change. There have been changes in the inside as well but i'll show you guys that uh maybe a little later or in a second but yeah all of this has been done today gold staples that's pretty cool there I grew up in Brooklyn, left right, I keep looking If the ops come, then we get to bucking So sad that my youngest stay shook In a bag, we don't play with a book Made a slob, now they all wanna hug If you ask, yeah, I do the dash, yeah Got money bags, yeah, for the ones that they talk Oddly enough, I feel like days go by before I record the garage And it'll be like days of actual work But when I end up checking it 
and obviously showing you guys because I'm seeing it live while I record almost seems the same like nothing's been done so that's interesting but I'm pretty sure in this last wing that I didn't record for the last couple of days it was just electrical work and then they obviously patched up the wall after doing that so that's probably why it doesn't look much different here we are like an hour later and yeah guy actually left I guess that's all he did in terms of the difference between what I showed before and what was done after but yeah I mean we'll just see how everything goes he said he's coming back on Monday so a few days from now and I'm pretty sure the rest of this project is actually waiting on him I don't know if anybody else is going to come work on any other stuff or oh, while wow. This guy's still working on the outside, so we'll see. But hopefully, you know, things progress. Obviously, it's moving a lot faster. I mean, this guy probably did more stuff in a few hours than anyone else has done over, you know, a single day or a week or whatever. So moving pretty quickly at this rate, but you never know what might happen.